Hello everyone and welcome to Caroline's Craft Tree. Today I just wanted to share with you a really quick little project that I think turned out pretty cute. So I've got some bulb pins, I've got some bling, and I used either glossy accents or just some nail polish. And this is the only color of nail polish I have. So it worked out good. I got a little piece of acetate, but any kind of plastic I think would work. And then just a little piece of cardboard so I can put the acetate on top after I've made the item. And we're just gonna make some charms. So I got these um, from BB Crafts. So there's a nice assortment of colors. So I've got, they're going to put the acetate down. I'm going to put down a couple of colors of these just because. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these into charms with a um, bling in the middle, like so. Put it on this and maybe you can see it. Quick, simple, easy project and it looks pretty cool. So I just, you could use any color of nail polish. Whoops. My nail polish thing came off the middle of the my brush fell off. There we go. So I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to drop the nail polish into the center part of the ball pin and I'm going to go up the stem a ways. Now these you do have to let them dry of course. So, I'm not sure how well you can see the nail polish in there. And then, just going to take one of these little bling pieces. And I'm just going to drop it right into the bulb part of that. Should have some tweezers here. I'm just going to kind of put it in the center and then just pat it down. So hopefully you can see that. And it doesn't stick to the acetate, which is nice because then once it dries, I can just pull it up. The bling will be stuck in there and it'll be set with the glossy accents same thing i'm just going to dump some drops right into the center part and then i'm going to spread it out a little bit if just the weight of the ball pins tends to keep it all inside it doesn't seem to run but if it does, you can just cut it off with a pair of scissors. The first ones I did, I actually put a little bit of nail polish down and then I put glossy accents on the top of it. And then when I was making other ones, I did just glossy accents and also just the nail polish and then again I just take one of the bling drop it in the middle and then just kind of just lightly tap the bling just so it kind of gets set into the um, 
into the glossy accents or the nail polish. There's another one. And again, just tap it down a little bit. Sometimes I even kind of wiggled it a little bit just to set it down in there. So now you have to wait for them to dry, which can take quite a while. The glossy accents, they suggest leaving it for like 24 hours. So that's kind of why I did the piece of cardboard. Um, because then I would could just move the cardboard. The acetate's a little bit um, flimsy to be moving. But these are some of the ones. I'm just going to put these on my paper here. Once these are made, you don't, you can't open up the pin anymore, of course. But I'm just going to put a jump ring on them. And use them as dangles. Hopefully that is focusing. And you can tell which ones I've used the nail polish on. The black one there, this one here has nail polish. This one has nail polish because they have that little bit of a glitter to them. Whereas like this one is clear, this one's clear with an air bubble in the middle, which kind of looks kind of cool. But very simple, very easy. Um, I was debating if a person could put a little tiny flower. Um, like maybe a little tiny dried flower or even if you had a really tiny tiny picture of some kind in there but I thought it was a cute idea and they turned out kind of nice I did some of the ones that I put acetate on or that I used the glossy accents I just painted the back after with the nail polish because I like that little sparkly type to it which is I believe that one there is one of them this orange one is all nail polish so the glitter in it is a bit um, you can see the glitter more in it than you can in that one. Not sure if you can really see it or not in the camera. And you could probably make up a little bit of glossy accents and put glitter right in it or have it like this, this when the um, glossy accents is is wet and then sprinkle glitter right on top of it which actually would look pretty cool as well so just a fun little project and I hope you enjoy and we'll see you again soon bye for now